Hello, hello everybody, how are we doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. It is Sunday and we are gonna make a dessert. Um, really excited for this. Uh, my family's not a huge fan of chocolate, um, but white chocolate obviously doesn't have the cocoa in it that my family doesn't like. So I want to try these white chocolate and red berry brownies. Um, I did have somebody ask me on my post of the recipe if we would be able to make them in this pan. Um, I am going to try it in my brownie pan to see if it works. Um, if you don't have a brownie pan, you can just use a square, um, square pan, not a 9 by 13, but they had like 8 by 8 or 9 by 9 pans for these brownies. Preheat your oven to 350 if you're going to be baking these with me. Hello, Sandy, Bree, Danielle, Katie. Hello, you guys. Don't forget to leave a reaction on the post. I'm going to take a second and share this live video. If you guys want to share it as well, that's always appreciated. Hello, Linda. How are you? I hope everyone's doing great. I am sharing this really quick and then we will get started. Um, I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. We spent some time at the pool today um, and then have hung out inside a little bit and then we're gonna grill some burgers um, downstairs. We have like a public area at our apartment where you can grill outside. Hello Buffy and Jasmine, Pam, hello Susie. Arizona is awesome you guys. Hello Jen, how are you? Um, cannot complain. Arizona's been great. Um, on Thursday, I will be traveling um, to Rhode Island for one of my best friend's BB showers. So I'll be gone um, through the weekend into colder weather again. So it'll be nice to um, have the warm weather of Arizona to come back to once I am all done um, hanging out with all of my really... Whoop. The oven is done. I, it takes a second for me to get used to all the new beeps and buzzers in our apartment. The laundry takes me by surprise. Hello, Amber and Thelma, Sandy and Patrick. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Jelly. How are you? Thelma, um, Thelma. Oh, that's Thelma Power. Thelma Rackers, when she gets on, I sent something to her and they said it was delivered today. So I want to make sure that she got it. Um, I think I have shared all the places I need to. If I missed any, you guys just feel free to share um, the live video wherever I have missed. Remember it to, to share it into groups that you are allowed to share um, live videos into. I don't want anybody getting kicked out. Hello, Nina and Beverly Autumn. Hello, Angelica. I miss your face too. I hope everyone's doing awesome. Hello, Krista and Elizabeth. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 if you're going to be baking these with me. Like I said, we are going to be trying to use our brownie pan today. Um, if you don't have a brownie pan from Pampered Chef, you can just use a regular 8x8 eight eight or 9x9 nine nine, um, square baking pan, cake pan for these brownies. There is no cocoa in these brownies, so if your family is not a fan of chocolate like that, we are using um, white chocolate, but that obviously doesn't have any cocoa in it. Thank you for sharing, Jen. I appreciate it. Hello, Sue and Kate. How are you guys? Um, so my birthday is actually not until the 23rd, um, but my family wanted to celebrate early since I will be out of town um, during my birthday. So we had a little birthday celebration. It was great. We went to a local um, Mexican restaurant that's just right across the street from our apartment. Everybody came, um, hung out. It was awesome. We got to be outside on the patio so the kids could run around. And then we came back here and played a game called Upside Down Challenge, which is really, really fun. Add a little bit of alcohol and it's really hilarious. So we did enjoy that. Um, I was lucky that I got to spend it with my family ahead of time. Yes, Twilight, can't wait for you to get that brownie pan. It's awesome. Hello, hello, you guys. I hope everyone is doing great. Don't forget to leave a reaction on the post to get entered into the giveaway. Hello, Nina. How are you? So my oven is preheated to 350. We are going to get our fruit um, onto the stove right away because it is going to take some time to cook it down into a sauce. So just grab some strawberries, some blueberries, raspberries, any red berries that you like. Obviously blueberries um, aren't red, but they're purple, so that's close enough. Um, and you can kind of pick and choose what fruit you want to use. Um, if you just want strawberries, you just want raspberries, you only need three and a half ounces. Um, I'm probably going to be making more than I need, but my family really loves fruit, so I don't think they will go to waste. Um, 
So I am just going to pour these into a saucepan. Um, just make sure you rinse them um, ahead of time. I didn't cut my raspberries or my blueberries. I left those whole, but I did cut my strawberries into three or four pieces so that they um, um, aren't going to overwhelm the tiny little brownie pan that I'm using. If you're not using a little brownie pan, you can keep your strawberries whole if you want to. I am going to add, um, so three and a half ounces of mixed berries. I obviously have a little bit more than that. And then it says four teaspoons of sugar. The sugar will help these um, fruits break down. Um, I have a little bit over that, so I'm kind of doing heaping teaspoons of the sugar. And then just turn it on to medium heat. You don't need it too hot. Um, just keep your eye on it. Um, make sure you kind of stir it around, let that sugar kind of coat those berries, and then let them do their thing on the stove. Hello, Philip. Thank you for sharing, Jasmine. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, Jasmine. Um, that dress I got um, from Lulu's, L-U-L-U-S dot com. Um, it's where I get any dresses or dress clothes that I need. Um, they usually have really awesome deals on nice tops and blouses and dresses and stuff. So anytime I have a wedding to go to, Lulu's is where I shop always. Hello, Amber. How are you? And Vanessa. So we've got our berries on the stove, medium to medium high heat in a saucepan to cook them down. You can cook them in a skillet if you want to. Um, just keep an eye on them. Um, if you aren't using a Pampered Chef pan, make sure that you grease and flour your pan. So what you'll do is you'll take butter, shortening, or oil. You'll spread it around your pan you're going to bake with. Then you're going to sprinkle flour in, um, kind of hit the edges like this, get the flour to coat the pan, and then dump out the excess flour. Our Pampered Chef pans are extremely non-stick, so I really don't mess with it like that. Um, I am going to do a little bit of vegetable oil with my kitchen spritzer, but like I have warned you guys before, for, do not use aerosol cooking sprays on our Pampered Chef pans. They will actually have the opposite effect and it will cause your pans to have a sticky residue left behind and it will cause your brownies to stick to your pan instead of releasing nicely. So just keep that in mind. So I just lightly spray them. Um, the more oil you have in your kitchen spritzer, the nicer it sprays. Since I'm getting down to the bottom, it kind of comes, kind of comes out spotty, but you can always just take um, like a pastry brush and brush it around if you feel like you want it coated a little bit better to make sure you don't have a bunch of brownies left over in your pan when you want to serve them. So we've got our um, berries in there. They're cooking until a sauce forms. You can use a hand mixer for this next step, or you can use a stand kitchen stand mix if you want, like me. And we are going to cream our sugars. So what you want to do is take a softened butter, about three-fourths of a cup. I'm using salted. Um, it might be better to use unsalted, but I will let you guys know once we try them if the salted needed to be different. Um, my berries are starting to sizzle already. So just keep an eye on them. Don't let them burn. Hello, Miriam. How are you, Buffy? Thank you for tagging somebody. All right, so we've got three-fourths of a cup of butter, and we want two and a half cups of sugar. You want to use granulated sugar for this recipe. So two and a fourth cups of sugar in there, like so. And then we're gonna, just going to cream it together, which just means you want to mix it with um, egg beaters or your stand mixer until it's nice and incorporated, light and fluffy. Um, I like using this so that I can um, kind of keep an eye on my berries at the same time. Um, your raspberries will cook down um, and kind of disintegrate, but the juice will still be there. I know, Sam, I wish I could share some of these. Hello, Lucy. Actually, they sound so good. Um, I, it's getting harder and harder for me to pick recipes for my show these days, but I'm doing the best I can. Hello, Bernie and Kim, and Amber and Casey. Hello, you guys. Don't forget to leave a reaction on the post to get entered into the giveaway at the end of the show. Let those cook down. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to get some of the butter off of the, mix, the mixer so that we can get that into the sugar. Um, probably needed my butter to be a little bit more room temperature, but it's not a huge deal. It will soften as this beater goes around and that sugar gets mixed in there. 
like so. Get the extra butter off of there. And then just lock it and turn it back on. I am in Arizona. We moved here, so this is my new home. Hello, Christy, how are you? All right. Then we wanna take four eggs that are already beaten. So I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna crack them into a separate dish, which you guys know I like to do anyway so that I don't get any shells in there. My berries are boiling, so I'm gonna turn down the heat to medium. It was at medium to high before. So just crack these eggs in here. You can use another dish or a bowl. I'm gonna do two at a time using my mini whisker. You wanna pre-whisk your eggs so that you don't have a hard time and over mix your mixture, trying to get those yolks and whites all mixed together. So pre-mixing your eggs is nice. Um, it makes it a little bit easier on you trying to get everything incorporated when the time comes to put it in with your egg beaters or your stand mixer like what I'm using. Hello Eileen, how are you? We are in such different time zones now, it's hard for me to get used to it. All of, most of my friends are in the Eastern time zones, so when I wake up, they've all been up for a couple hours already. So I wake up to a couple hundred notifications on my text messages, especially if something's going on, like the baby shower that's coming up. Marilyn, I'm in the Phoenix area, um, really close to Scottsdale. Um, if you're familiar with the Phoenix area, we're right here in Desert Ridge. Yep, we do have the Pup Pups. Cats are being taken care of by Bee, who used to be on my show all the time. Now she has to sadly watch from home. So we've got four eggs beaten into our mixture. And just turn on your stand mixer or your egg beaters and get those all mixed in. I know, 710, it's crazy. We haven't even had dinner yet here. This is cooking down nicely. I'll give you guys a little peek of what it's looking like over here. This batter looks good. Now we are going to take our 10 and a half ounces of white chocolate. You can use um, whatever white chocolate baking chips you want to use. Um, I don't recommend using almond bark. It will not have the same flavor and it will harden um, in our mixture. So put this in here and we're gonna microwave it for one and a half minutes. Um, that's what I love about our batter bowls is that it's microwave safe. Just put your chocolate chips in there, your white chocolate in there, and just let it go. So this is all set. We'll pull this off and set it on one of our silicone trivets so that we don't melt my counter like so. Um, when it comes to melting chocolate or white chocolate, it may not look melted when you check on it in the microwave. The best thing to do is take a spoon or a spatula and touch the chocolate. More than likely, it will melt when you touch it. Um, they are really good and kind of hold their shape before you start mixing them. So right now it's 4.12 my time, which is Arizona time. We don't time change in Arizona, so it's hard to say. We're not Mountain or Standard or anything like that. We're Arizona time. It sounds silly, but it is what it is. Thelma Rackers, did you get a package today? I think your oven protectors came. Um, I'm not sure where they would have been delivered, um, but the gal said, the tracking said they should have arrived today. So we're just gonna pull these beaters up so that our mixture is ready for when our chocolate is done. We're gonna add in 10 and a half ounces of melted chocolate, and then we will add in our two cups of all-purpose flour. So get your flour ready. Um, make sure you're checking on your mixed berry mixture here so you don't overcook it. We have one and a half minutes here. I might do just another quick 30 seconds on our white chocolate. Um, I like using my all-purpose spreader for this. It's got a spatula silicone end to it, which is nice for chocolate. So I'm just gonna pop it in for another probably 20 seconds, not quite 30. The 
glass itself is still warm and that will continue to melt your chocolate. I just want it um, pliable enough that we can scrape it out of the bowl and into our mixture. Hello, you guys. How are you doing? Those that just jumped on, make sure you leave a reaction on the post so you can get entered into the giveaway at the end. You do need to be um, present to win. Thank you, Eileen. No, we couldn't bring the kitties just yet, but they will be coming once we um, find a house we can rent. So we just did six months in this apartment for now while we continue to look for a house that we can rent so that we can have all of our animals in one place. Hard work finding something is definitely a seller's market out this way for people to offload their property. The, the real estate market right now is booming in Arizona. All right, so we're gonna mix this in. Hello, Barbara, how are you? Mix in our white chocolate. And now we're gonna do two cups of all-purpose flour. I like to use my little scraper. It comes with my measuring cup. Camper Chef sells them like that. Ooh, I'm making a mess. We'll stop it this time so I don't make a bigger mess. Turn it on low and get that all mixed in. Yes, and we normally fly into Mesa um, when we fly from North Dakota. So we have seen Mesa. That's a beautiful place as well. Um, and we are loving it so far. Obviously, the heat um, in the summertime will be um, different to get used to. So this mixture definitely thickens up. I was hoping I would be able to put it into my batter mixer dispenser, but I'm not sure if it's too thick for that, but we're gonna try it anyway. Make sure you get all that flour mixed in. You don't want any pockets of it. All right. I like to lift up my kitchen mixer while it's still spinning to get the majority of that batter off of the, the beaters so that I'm not having to um, do a lot of that for myself. Leave that so that the kiddos can lick it when they come back inside from their walk with dad. Thank you, Grace, for sharing. Hello, hello, you guys. So I am gonna try this. This is our batter mixer dispenser. I'm going to put our batter in here so that I have a little bit of help putting it into our brownie pan since those are a little bit smaller than a cake pan that you can just dump it into. So we're gonna try it. This is the lid to it. You do wanna make sure that you put this rubber piece onto your mix and dispense so that you can, let's see if we can, Push this down the best we can, pushing your batter down as far as you can before you put the lid on, getting most of that air out so that you're not struggling with it. And here we go. So put this here. Remember, I sprayed my pan. Um, if you don't have a Pampered Chef pan, make sure you do um, either butter, um, nonstick spray with flour so that you're not fighting these brownies out of your pan. We're gonna see how well this works. Just kind of push this. It's on the biggest setting. There are three settings to this, small, medium, and large, and this is the largest one. Keeping in mind that these will bake up a little bit, and we also are adding our mixed berry topping to it. So we've got this in here. It seems to be working really well, actually. I was worried it was too thick to be able to use this, but it actually worked really, really well. So I always am terrible at getting the top back out, but there you go. I'm gonna add the rest of this batter in here to top off some of these brownie wells. 
Remember your oven is preheated to 350. Don't forget as you push this down, kind of push it at an angle so you can get most of that air out, allowing that batter to be in there. Pop the top back on. I'm gonna go back over this one like that. And then I'm gonna turn this down to the smallest and push, no, the medium one, let's see. And just push a little bit more batter in here on each of them, like so. No muss, no fuss, just like that. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna go back over it and we are gonna add in our berries and swirl them around. So as you guys can kind of see up close, that's what they look like being dispensed from the dispenser. Thank you, Jimmy. Yay, Thelma, I hope that saved you from burning your arm anymore with your oven. Oh no, Danielle, you gotta use it. Anytime you're making batter, pancakes, cupcakes, anything like that, use your batter mixer dispenser. It is so worth it. I am going to grab one of my cookie scoopers and I am going to just scoop this mixture on top of each of these little wells of brownies and then we're gonna use a toothpick or another kind of ended, small ended thing that you have in your kitchen. I'm gonna be using my cake tester releaser and we're gonna kind of just swirl this around the top of the brownie to give it that red mixed berry taste and color. It smells so good. So then I'm gonna just use the tip of this. Might be hard to see. This is our cake tester releaser. This is actually to replace any toothpicks in your kitchen. You just stick it in to your cake or your cupcakes to check its doneness. And the back side will help release any cake or cupcake that you may have in a pan. If it sticks, it's super helpful. They're gonna be so good. Um, Alice, I do think so. If you're a fan of um, chocolate with berries, you could um, definitely melt uh, milk chocolate or a semi-sweet baking chocolate in with this instead of the milk chocolate. If you are a fan of berries with chocolate, some people are, some people aren't. Um, my kids aren't huge fans of chocolate. Rory really doesn't like chocolate, so I figured we would do the white chocolate. These are gonna be so good. So what you're doing in this is you're kind of allowing this berry mixture to penetrate the first little bit of this brownie to be delicious as ever. That's what they look like. I do have extra batter left over, so um, since I am using a different pan, I have a little bit of batter left over, but that can be easily solved by putting it in a different pan. I've got um, little mini brownie pipe pans that I'll probably try to put the last of this batter into. Um, then we wanna bake it just for 20 minutes, super fast. It doesn't take a long time to bake. Um, I'm actually thinking I'll do 15. Since I have those that different pan, it's not as thick or as big. Thank you, Talon. Yes, exactly. All the different, they do look like little mini cheesecakes. All the different things that you can make in those pans. I've made meatloaf in those pans, brownies in those pans, cakes, you name it. Those pans are awesome um, for just doing little um, recipes, little um, kind of shareable bite-sized things um, without having to cut them up yourself. Charity, yes. Hello, Ella, how are you? They look so good, you guys. We are going to do our giveaway. We're doing two giveaways today. Hello, Amy. Um, it was kind of hard. I haven't been able to see all the comments. They're not on my phone today. So I've been trying to look at my computer, but it shows that I've had a lot more comments than what it was showing me. Yes, meatloaves in them are awesome. I made those meatloaves and then topped them with uh, mashed potatoes on top with my batter mixer and dispenser and those were a huge hit with my kids. So I definitely recommend those. They smell so good, you guys. I haven't tried the batter yet, but I know it's gonna be good. 
there, yes, there's so many different uses. You can also go onto our Pampered Chef website and you can type into the search bar the name of the item you would like and you can um, pull up recipes using just the item, the Pampered Chef item that you're wanting to use. So if there's sometimes you just want to use an I, um, a product from Pampered Chef but you can't think of a recipe, you can kind of do a reverse search on our website and it will show you um, the top recipes that they re recommend for using. I mean, all the way from what pan you want to use, what slicer you want to use, what electronic you want to use, and it will give you a ton of recipes on there like that, which is really fun. Um, I use that occasionally to pick recipes for my show. So I'm just pulling these names off. Yes, I've made little mini cheeseburgers in mine as well. I actually um, pattied my own burgers today with our burger patty press that we have. So I made little jalapeno cheddar burgers. I'll probably post a picture of those on my page to show you guys how cute they are. Um, remember, you do need to be present to win. You have two minutes to comment. Um, I do have the list of names of everyone that has won in the last six months. If you've won in the last six months, unfortunately, you can't win again until um, your six months is up. Yes, it is a great way if you ever need help looking up recipes like that. I am happy to help you guys. Um, it's really kind of fun to look them up like that, especially if you want to use like rock crops and stuff like that. So I'm going to do the elegant thing and try and get my butt up on here so that I can be closer to show you guys the names of our winners. Um, we're going to do four and eight this time since I messed it up last time. I will check the list to see if you've won and then we will move on if you haven't. If you have, we will pull another name and get this centered. So number one, two, three, and four. My dad, we'll see if he's watching. He has not won in the last six months. So dad, Dean Rasmussen, if you are watching, please comment to claim your prize. Five, six, seven, and eight. KS, I don't think you have won in the last six months, but we will just check. Oh, you have, that's a surprise to me. Here we go. Let me double check. I was looking at the right list. Yep. Okay, we'll pull another name. Jamie Wilkie. Jamie Wilkie. Jamie Wilkie, you are our second winner today. Please comment if you are watching. Please comment that you are here to claim your prize. Whew, that was hard work. This is my sink that you guys haven't seen yet and the other part of my kitchen. My dad is here. Um, dad, just pick a name. You just comment what name you want to give it to easier that way. Um, and then Jamie Wilkie, you just need to comment that you are here. Thank you guys for liking my dad's comment so that it didn't get filtered out. Congratulations, Jamie. You are our second winner today. Just send me a message. Um, doesn't matter where, my page, personal page, Pamper Chef page, just send me a message with your first name, last name, shipping information, email, and phone number, and I will get something sent off to you. daddy -o Rasmussen, <laughs> you can pick a name of somebody that you see commenting actively so that we know that they are here. Dad, just pick a name and give it to somebody. I have it this all over. It smells so good in here, you guys. Oh, they look so good. They do look like mini little cheesecakes. Congratulations to the winners. I'm not sure if my dad has commented yet or if he jumped off after I told him he won and he commented. So we will see. If not, I'll just pull the next name on the um, on the little fishing pool thing. I'm assuming he jumped off. Hello, kiddos. How was your walk? Good. Good. Courtney Nelson. Courtney Nelson, if you are here, please comment. Courtney Nelson. Courtney Nelson. I saw her cheeseburger bombs a second ago, so I'm sure she is still watching. Yeah, you, you brought me a flower. Thank you. 
So Courtney Nelson is our second winner. Congratulations, Courtney. Send me a message with your shipping information, your phone number, and your email. Even if I have it, the, the message is a good reminder for me to place the order because I get forgetful sometimes. So congratulations, you guys. <sighs> Congratulations, Jamie. I'm glad you have finally won. It's always such a good win. I will post a picture when these come out of the oven in nine minutes. I'll let you guys know if 15 minutes was the right time. For those of you that want to use the brownie pan, um, I will let you know what works best. And I will see you guys then on the next show. Bye.